The next match is uh, one we're going to have to debate and discuss. As a reminder, at this point, Brock Lesnar is undefeated. One of the original ideas here was Brock Lesnar versus Hulk Hogan. Hogan was down for it, but felt like since he had already lost to Lesnar, well, he needed to win. Yeah. See there. Really? Lesnar. You shitting me. You're a fucking Hulk Hogan. You're over. You'll be over to for eternity and beyond. And in a, in a three or four days, a normal dude is going to forget. Really. It's not going to become a big issue whatsoever about who won and who lost, especially who lost. You embellish the winner and all that good stuff. But uh, I, uh, I, I don't know. I never, I never had a good feeling about that, that pairing. And, uh, I might've been a blessing in disguise that the match didn't happen. Well, instead, as we all recall, Vince tells Hulk, I'm not ready to beat Brock yet. Sorry, pal. So they go with big show and big show beats Brock in four minutes and 19 seconds. So this is Brock Lesnar's first loss. It happens just a shade over four minutes in Lesnar is going to use a belly to belly overhead and the MSG crowd, which was already behind Lesnar pops big for it. Then he does an F five and a second referee runs down. Heyman pulls him out of the ring, decks the referee. Now remind you. Heyman is still managing Brock Lesnar. So this is Heyman turning on Brock Lesnar show now comes from behind with a chair to the ribs and a chair to the back. Here's a choke slam on the chair and here's the pin one, two, three Meltzer says in the latest copy of the 1997 survivor series show and Heyman ran out of the building into an awaiting getaway car, two stars. So we're at the five-year anniversary, if you will of the Montreal screw job here in 2002. And we're going to screw Brock Lesnar out of the title. We're going to do it as the fourth match on the show. We're going to split up Heyman and Brock Lesnar. We're going to hand Brock his first loss in four minutes and 19 seconds. And we're going to do it to a guy who the company gave up on at this point years ago. I love me some big show. How can you overstate the size and, and his importance to the company? But man, it was like, he's a baby face this week and next week he's a heel. And we just go back and forth. It's interesting to sort of peer into the mind of Vince McMahon who tells Hulk Hogan, not ready to beat Brock yet. Our oh, big show can beat him in four minutes. That's crazy to me. It is crazy. Yeah. It's illogical. Yeah. Uh, why do we need to change the championship? Right. And, uh, I would never book that match. The match would never have happened if right. I was, if, if I had the old proverbial pencil which has the most powerful weapon in all of wrestling on one end, the eraser. We never booked it again, protect your attraction. The seven foot, 500 pound, 400 pound, whatever guys come up, they'll come along that often. He's an attraction that can't be replaced as far as look and perception and size. So, uh, crazy. Don't book that match, book another match that Brock can go out and have an athletic contest with. You notice that there's, they kept this match short because they didn't want to overexpose either guy and to have a title match, it goes four minutes and one of your biggest stars, that's going to be the, one of the biggest stars in the history of your company gets beaten four minutes. I don't know what we accomplished. I really don't. 